Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today to seek your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding so that we can walk in your ways closer to you. Lord, we are grateful for your precious, precious word. Please write them upon the tablets of our heart so that we may understand what you are trying to teach us today. We welcome the Holy Spirit. We invite him to, to be with us and teach us and help us grow. And Lord, we know that you love us and we're grateful. And we say all of these things in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen and amen. Job 20. Then answered Zophar, Zophar, sorry, the Namathite, and said, Therefore do my thoughts cause me to answer, and for this I make haste. I have heard the check of my reproach, and the spirit of my understanding causeth me to answer. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Though his, through his excellency, though his excellency mount up to the heavens, <coughs> excuse me, and his head reach onto the clouds, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The, <clears throat> the eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. Though he spare it and forsake it not, but it still within his mouth, yet his meat in his bowels is turned. It is the gall of asps within him. He hath swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of asps. The viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. That which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down according to his sustenance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein, because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor, because he hath violently taken away an house which he builded not. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left, therefore, shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of his body. Yea, 
the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of the wicked man from God, and the heritage appointed unto him by God. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for your precious word and how you make things clear. The more we read your word, things make sense. And Lord, we're grateful that they do. And Lord, we are grateful. Grateful for your precious, precious word. Heavenly Father, I, I lift up my brothers and sisters that are in bonds and out of bonds and those that are in pain and those that are suicidal. Please give them strength to overcome and to hang on. Heavenly Father, please bless them abundantly. I know you will. I'm grateful, Lord. I'm grateful for everyone that's listening and for everyone that will listen later on. Thank you, Lord, for bringing all those people to your word. Thank you, Lord, for your word. It's the most beautiful thing I know. And it comforts me. And I thank you, Lord, for all the grace and mercy you've shown me and you continue to, to bless upon me. I'm grateful, Lord. I thank you. Heavenly Father, I say all of these things in your precious, precious name with the precious blood of Jesus upon me from the top of my head to the tip of my toes. I cover everyone listening in the precious blood of Jesus in a hedge of protection so that they, they will know the joy of who Jesus really is and be on fire for you, Lord, and have a hunger and a thirst for you. I say all of these things, Lord, in your name, in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my Savior, my Ishi Yeshua. Amen and amen. Thanks for listening. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.